Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at two-way tables. In this video, we'll be looking at what a two-way table is, what they look like, example questions and exam questions. What is a two-way table? It's a way of representing data. It makes the frequencies easy to spot. It usually is for two variables. The rows show one category and the columns show the other category. What a two-way table looks like. This is what an example two-way table would look like. In the exam, sometimes they will give you some of the numbers in the table and you have to fill the rest of the table. An example question. There is a total of 150 students complete the table. This is the table that we've been given. So usually it will have a few numbers in there, but the numbers will be placing the numbers will be placed so that it will be easier to calculate the other numbers that are missing. First, you'll put the total number of students where the totals intercept, which is usually in the bottom right hand corner, since the total number of students is 150. And next, you do 150 minus in brackets 77 plus 21 to get the number of students that do another sport and that's 52 students and then you will do 21 minus 17 to get the number of girls who do rugby which is four Next, you will do 150 minus 73 to get the total number of girls that do a sport, which is 77. Next, you will do 77 minus 4 plus 31 to get the total number of girls who play football, and that is 42. Then you'll do 77 minus 42 to get the number of boys who play football which is 35 and then lastly you will do 73 minus in brackets 17 plus 35 to get the total number of boys who play another sport which is 21. So that's an example of completing a two-way table and now we're going to look at an exam question. Here is the information given in the question. There is a total of 170 students in year 7. 82 of the students are boys. 33 of the students get the bus to school. 19 out of the 41 students that walk to school are boys and 56 girls cycle to school. So complete the two-way table. But this time, the table is blank. So first you put in the already known values into the table. Next you can do 170 minus 82 to get the number of girls in year 7 which is 88. Next you do 170 minus in brackets 41 plus 33 to get the total number of students who cycle to school which is 96. And then you can do 96 minus 56 to get the total number of boys who cycle to school, which is 40. And then 82 minus in brackets 40 plus 19 to get the total number of boys who take the bus to school, which is 23. Then you do 33 minus 23 to get the total number of girls who take the bus to school, which is 10. And then finally, you will do 88 minus in brackets 56 plus 10 to get the total number of girls who walk to school, which is 22. And that's how to complete a blank two-way table. I hope you found this video useful. Please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel. And please feel free to share. Thank you for watching.